Hi everybody, this is TJ with NetPix Inner Circle and the Counterpunch Trader. Normally, on most weeks, we record our live trading session from our trade room each week for the uh, crude oil inventory report. It's one of our favorite trade plans of the week. You'll find a lot of live versions of what we do with this trade plan each week on YouTube. But this past week, the live recording didn't turn out, so I thought I would just do a quick walkthrough recap of what happened with this week's crude oil report. It was a, a really great session. This is one of my favorite trade plans, as I said. I think we've had maybe three or four losing sessions over the past five or six months. Again, many of these videos you will find already posted on YouTube, uh, live versions, excerpts from the trade room. This, of course, is just a looking back at what happened, but we did take this trade and we did trade this live on Valentine's Day that just passed. So let's just walk through really quick. I'll show you what happened. You can see the report coming out with the big reaction here. What we do is we, we wait two minutes and then look for the first active trade that we can grab. So you can see there's a nice long trade. It looks like a great winner and it was, but it's not it's within the first minute and it's just too volatile and we found that waiting two minutes works the best for us. There's a setup here to go short and you can see the timestamp here. It's still 20 seconds before the start time. But if this doesn't hit target one and it doesn't stop out and then all of a sudden we have at two minutes the ability to short at this price level, we're going to. And that's exactly what happens here. You could see uh, we're, we're already at two minutes 10.32 and we short the market right there. And the trade is going short at 59.23. Our objective is to be able to get to a target to have a positive result. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. We could always do more positions and scale out. I personally like to go to target two and then trail the second part of my position. Uh, but going to target three is viable, even target one if the trade's large enough. Okay, so this does get short, and that's the first trade we take, and it's moving nicely, but then all of a sudden it, it turns, and it starts consolidating. So you can see the stop is holding. We have not got close enough to our target one. If we get to target one, we're going to start moving our stop to take the risk off the trade and trail the dotted line. All right, so that's typically how we use the counterpunch for this strategy. And all of a sudden there's a possible long, there's another short. We're ignoring the short, but we may have to get long. And it does push higher. Now this long trade canceled, that's why it stopped printing. There's a reason why that happened. So we're still short, we're still holding on, and taking a little heat on the trade. Another short, right, but these again are setups we're ignoring because we're just focusing on the short that we're in right so we just have to pay attention to if we get a long setup and we do right here and so the way whenever we get a long or a stop and reverse we would take the entry and then we would add two ticks because we want to ask for a little extra price confirmation to push through and then we may even make a, another adjustment through a key level and so I actually put a reversing order at 36, a four tick adjustment, because I want to protect this trade. I don't want to get wiggled into a long and then see it come down, but I also have to respect the fact the market could be turning and going the other direction. And if that's the case, I get to bail out of the short trade with a reduced loss. Instead of going all the way to the stop out, I'm able to get out somewhere in this area, right? Right around 36. You know, I'm saving maybe half the risk on the trade, give or take, and then get long to catch a high percentage move to the upside. And that's exactly what happens today. We don't win on the first trade like we so often do. It gets long and it does flip over. You can see right here it hits 36 and we are now long. And we're going for a uh, target 48. Now you might opt to go to, I mean, target two, which is 59.48. Because of the four tick adjustment, you may opt to go to target three instead. All right, those are just options. We're gonna stick with target two and then trail the rest of the position. And it does come up, it gets past our money management level. You can see the stop comes up, takes the risk off the trade, and then it pushes through all the targets and the trailer continues to move higher and higher and ultimately higher. 
really great trade and it finally stops out down here. So you could see uh, for the trailing position made up for the adjustment on the entry uh, quite a bit. And that was a really nice winning trade. And that was it. That's our goals, right? We need to get a target two, be positive. So we had a little bit of a loss, a nice winner. And our trade plan was over with two trades and another winning session. So come back and check uh, again because I'm planning on recording this week's crude oil session. It'll be on Thursday due to the holiday week. And uh, we'll be recording that live from the trade room. Thanks for joining me on this video, everybody. This is TJ with NetPix Inner Circle. See you on the next one.